You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to RollerMartinUnfiltered.com. You can make this possible. I want to go to our panel on this issue here, and that is this constant, this ongoing drama dealing with Gail King and Lisa Leslie, Kobe Bryant, and Snoop Dogg. I'm sorry. I'm, this has reached the point for me where this is ridiculously overblown. If you got an opinion with, against Gail Keen, that's fine. Uh, but but I think just this 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 going on and on and on. People are uh, losing their minds over this. Really, this is. <laughs> it, it makes no sense to me that it's continuing, Avis. Yeah, it is continuing. I mean, it was, it it, ha it has, I think, should have run its course by now, but he here is the, the situation. So, you know, honestly, I believe that the way Gail approached her follow-up questions appeared to be very biased. Uh, and this man and his child have yet yeah. to be laid to rest. Uh, and because of that, it hit some nerves. Now, of course, what Snoop did was absolutely way over the top and yeah, not at live. all acceptable. No, no, we're live. We're live. But, exactly. But you also we're, we're had live. on the it, other side right back what appeared to be a coordinated PR campaign to push back. And so this is what has led to the back and forth, and it will probably go on a little bit longer. Um, Derek, again, I mean, it, 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 now you got this whole deal, I'm with Snoop, I'm with Gail. Uh, and it's whole back and forth. And look, here's the reality. I talked about this on my show Friday. Look, journalists, we ask questions. We might tick some people off. Uh, but but this, 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 this constant, this whole deal, and now it's black men and black women got to pick sides. Now, now, then, now I got fools out there uh, mad with Roland. Why you side with Gail? I didn't side with Gail. I didn't <laughs> side with Snoop. I didn't side with anybody. You know, then then this whole deal is like, well, you can't say nothing until the funeral. I'm, 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 that's, that's <laughs> that's I mean, no, it's just, it's just, I mean, it's like all of these people are going on and on and on with it. So, so are they trying, actually trying to tell me that, oh, the funeral is February 24th, and so on February 25th, we can have the conversation? No, they're going to be pissed off on February 25th. I mean, so let's just stop. Yeah, um, but at the same time, I can see, I can see both sides. However, I thought it was just a little, I thought it was out of bounds for Gail to pose that question too. And I look at Gail sometimes as not one of the best interviewers because um, Lauren and I were talking earlier, I looked at that interview that she did with Justin Fairfax accusers and I felt like she was out of bounds with that because she didn't have all her facts with that, with that particular interview. And so I just look at Gail sometimes, even that R. Kelly interview I thought was a little over the top and a little extra. And so sometimes I just think Gail could take a step back, especially with this situation with Kobe Bryant, because the man hadn't been laid to rest. I know we don't have to go by the date before we have to start speaking about his death or whatever he did, but my biggest thing with, with Kobe was not what he did with that, that alleged what happened with that young lady in 2002, 2003. It was what happened with him between him and Shaq when he threw Shaq under the bus. And so that was the biggest thing I had with Kobe. I, I, but for I him to touch on I, I, with, this, I mean, with those I'm allegations, wrong. which were false, and the girl didn't even come forward, I thought she was out of bounds with that. I just think that, again, look, you got these social media trolls out here. I mean, please explain to me, Lauren, how in the hell Gail King versus Snoop is the 21st century of the East, East Coast, West Coast rap battle. I mean, it's like, it's like Tupac and Biggie. I mean, this is, this is, and people are like, no, which side are you on? I'm like, yo, shut the, I'm telling y'all, you know, y'all, they gonna make me cuss at this event. I'm just, I, I'll, 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 no, it's just, it, it's like, it's, it's just stupid. I'll, I'll try to explain it to you, Roland. Uh, I, I think part of the issue here is that uh, there's a longer history here that I think Snoop and 50 Cent and a lot of these guys have been paying attention to longer than maybe any of us, which is that if you look at the reporting specifically on CBS and specifically by Gail King and Oprah, um, you see that they covered Bill Cosby and R. Kelly and Michael Jackson and then Russell Simmons and then Justin Fairfax and then Kobe Bryant. They covered them in a certain way that I don't think we saw coverage of uh, with regard to, frankly, with regard to white males accused of sexual assault. And we're in kind of this moment where allegations are conviction with yeah. sexual assault. So if somebody says something, the person's life is just blown up, whether you know the details of the story or not. 
And I think that the CBS Morning Show can't be confused with 60 Minutes. I mean, they don't really are not investigating on the same level as a frontline or a 60 Minutes show. So when they put people on and the thing blows up and that person's reputation is blown up, that person is, of course, paying a huge price. And I think the fact that Gail, of course, is best friends with Oprah Winfrey, who unfortunately, before she turned 15, she was raped when she was nine years old and then 14, which is incredibly tragic. I think the fact that she has that connection with Oprah and when these things happen, they tend to get involved in it. Like, I remember when the Michael Jackson documentary came up, uh, it was, was Surviving or Leaving Neverland. Yeah. Uh, they did, like, a week on that. Uh, they had the Jackson family, and then they had the, the guy that did the documentary, and they had, you yeah. know, they had, like, step after step, mm -hmm. detail after detail. They did the same thing with R. Kelly. They had R. Kelly's accusers, and then they had another accuser. It was, like, the level of attention and reporting that went into that is not the same that we saw on a lot of these stories involving white males who have been accused. Right. I think when people Harvey make Weinstein. that... Harvey Right, when people make that... Harvey Weinstein and many more. I when people it. make that point, they're making a really good point. And when you have these positions in journalism that are so important and so rare for African Americans that Gail King has, she has to be thinking about how the community is represented. I know that's an extra burden on black journalists that perhaps shouldn't be there, but she's got to be thinking about how she uses her stage. And frankly, I think I'm the most the underrepresented, I, I am, I, the most underrepresented group on TV to me is black men. We have a lot of black women out there I talking I, a lot more I than am we did. I'm perfectly fine with all of that. It, yeah, and I'm perfectly fine with all of that. <laughs> uh -huh. But this, but this thing has not. This thing, this thing has literally gone so crazy. It's gone crazy. Uh, and I'm, <laughs> it's gone crazy because I'm, I think the perspective that Snoop has, even though I didn't agree with what he, how he, you know, what he called Gail, but the perspective that 50 Cent and Snoop has is not represented on TV. I mean, I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting a major news outlet to have, to go to a bar and pick a guy up. But we see the PhDs and we see the, you know, club bourgeois on there all the time, the overeducated, the top 10%. We don't see the average black male I, on TV represented very much. Their views, so I got you. But, I but, think but that's here, what we're but, seeing. But here's also. But let me. But let me caution all these brothers out here who want to get high and mighty. Their treatment of black women may also become under the microscope. Well, it has been under okay. the microscope just, with, with Gail and Oprah around. No, no, it's no, no, been no, under the microscope no, no, the whole no, time. No, no, no. What, what I'm. No, no. What, and, and what I'm saying is that if this thing is going to escalate into a black man versus black women, you trying to take somebody down. I'm simply saying I think some people have gotten to the point that they're so irrational in their response that it's gotten way overheated. At the end of the day, I'm like, y'all, seriously? It's well, going as Well, I think one of the things... Right, one folks, of the reasons, of, uh, sorry. I was going to say go quickly, ahead. I think one of the reasons why this has really hit some notes for people emotionally is not only because of the tragic death, it's also t a couple of other things. Number one... Uh, you know, he has, he was, this, his charges were dismissed. Right. Dismissed. Yes. Dismissed. She didn't show Dis up. Dismissed. Right. She didn't show up. So the way that this has been contextualized, not just her, but you had this Washington Post reporter come out. Right. He's a rapist. Right. You have the, uh, the granddaughter, I believe, of, of Disney. Right. He's a rapist. And then to have Gail sort of pile on, that was an extra sort of jab. And the fact that, you know, these people who supposedly care about women so much feel completely free to sully the name of someone who has a surviving wife, who has surviving three right. daughters, who are still grieving deep in their grief, to have to have the name of their loved one dragged through the mud over and over and over again by people who didn't know him, even when the charges were dismissed, right. as if he was a convicted rapist, is wrong. Yeah. I don't care how you slice it. Yeah. And then to have Oprah Winfrey go on The View and cry about her friend. <laughs> Listen, Gail is not the victim here. Right. Right. She is not she the won, victim. She actually, won, actually, she won, actually, she won the Today Show. But bottom line is here, again, this whole deal of this is not an East Coast, West Coast battle. All is picking sides. I'm Team Gail. I'm Team Snoop. I'm saying, y'all, seriously? But it's Chill deep. The hell it's out. deep. It's now, deep because got, it's been got, going got, on a while. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's been I, going I, on a while. I, I, I got it. All right, folks, I've got hold my unfiltered video in just one moment. Are you looking to enhance your leadership or that of your team in 2020? Well, you might want to join Dr. Jackie Hood Martin's newest online course in Mastermind Group, Successful People Think. 
She will be your guide as you learn timeless leadership principles to apply to daily living. Of course, she's a certified John Maxwell uh, instructor, and so uh, you want to take, you want to uh, take advantage of this. Uh, the offer expires February 28th. To register or to start the online course today, go to www.live2lead.com forward slash Leesburg right here. Live the number two lead l e a d dot com forward slash Leesburg. Now back to your Roland Martin unfiltered video. You want to check out Roland Martin unfiltered? YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real. It's Roland Martin Unfiltered. See that name right there? Roland Martin Unfiltered. Like, share, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's YouTube.com forward slash Roland S. Martin. And don't forget to turn on your notifications so when we go live, you'll know it.